Today on the Daily Marketer wouldn't be automating their business routine. And by the end of 2024, the global marketing automation market worth will reach $6.4 billion. Think I'm encouraging you to start using automation? No, I'm urging you to keep up with trends. Wanna know all the tricks? Join in. Hello again, I'm Anya, and today we are talking about marketing automation. What trends are emerging? What's new? Let's discuss this. It's no secret that setting up an automated email or chatbot flow brings terrific user experience, conversions, and time-saving results. By the way, I've made a separate video on building your marketing automation to get those results. Don't forget to check it out! And also, subscribe to our channel, like and comment on our videos. So yeah, it looks like marketers and users got used to dealing with chatbots and find it comfy. If in 2019 automation was primarily used for saving costs, now it's used for hyper-personalization. Yes, it's our first trend. And starting your email with the user's names is no longer a can-help. It's a must-have. You need to think of personalization based on the funnel stage. The sales funnel consists of four stages – awareness, interest, decision, and action. So take this into account while building your automation flows. For example, at the awareness stage, bring the brand awareness content. In the middle of the funnel, present the comparison with the competitors. You are competing for the customer, after all. And at the action stage, delivering case studies or reviews will help you to finally sell your product. The next trend is multi-channel marketing experience. One-way communication is over for good. Your customer interacts with your business through various channels. A website, social media, email, videos, messengers, podcasts and SMS. Automation is available for almost all of these channels. Nowadays, users hop on their favorite channels to follow a business. As a user, I get frustrated when the company of my interest doesn't have an Instagram page. As a marketer, I am frustrated as I know how dangerous this is for lead generation and lead nurturing. If you still don't run multiple channels as you think you might end up shorthanded, then look at the title of this video. We are talking about automation. You can set up automated email or SMS flows, a chatbot for your website that generates a pop-up, or a chatbot on social media and messengers, bringing info about your new videos or podcasts, and helping with the user questions. By the way, you can also automate your communication and sales using a CRM system, which is a part of the SendPulse ecosystem. Just check it out! Yeah, starting slow and testing all channels is essential, but you should never stop going and developing. Ok, let's move on before this video turns into a motivational speech. Next goes Lifecycle Marketing. Marketing doesn't stop at a closed sale. Your marketing should attract, convert and retain customers as they move through their buying journey. After the purchase, work on maintaining customer trust and loyalty. For this, come up with exclusive app or service features or membership options. Offer to share reviews for discounts or free products. Provide limited access to webinars or events. Just plan these ideas into your automation routine and work on the next point, which is retargeting without tracking. Data consumers are becoming more and more protective of their privacy. Users can easily block third-party cookies and targeting users on their previous internet behavior becomes a brainer. Businesses must rethink their advertising strategy. What you can do is run contextual marketing. Use chatbots to drive the important data from the customer journey and focus on touch points that have outperformed the rest. And the final trend is mobile-optimized content. As of August 2022, 59.4% of global traffic comes from mobile devices. You can't just keep this fact. You don't want to miss out on customer engagement, so think of a mobile-based strategy. What can you automate? I'd go with SMS marketing, push notification, or pop-ups. Use these channels to earn customer value, boost engagement, and keep up with the trends. 
And that's a wrap for now. As usual, I'll be glad to chat in the comments and hear what you think of marketing automation trends. Take care.